Uh, that track is available on our YouTube channel if you if you just want you know a real banger to put out. Ooh, why is my balance off? Why is this balance off? Hello, 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 test. Is that better? Jesus. We got a full-fledged fight breaking out in our chat room. Let's see what's going on. Don't do the thing yet, Moody. Hold, hold off. Um, let's see what you guys were fighting about while I was gone. This Jonathan Todd guy is just going off about his bat, his degree and his criminal justice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's uh, Jill Carlson, who we should go over her Facebook page if there's time. <laughs> Listening to you try over and over to explain defamation because they weren't getting it was fun. I love it when someone with an associate's in criminal justice tries to lecture me on the law. It's just like... Oh man, my hat's gay. Why was it like fucking another hat of the same gender expression? Come on. Hello. Jesus is bound. Waka waka. All right. I can't keep up with uh, how many lawyers we got in this bitch. A lot of fighting. Chad doesn't care. Chad doesn't have the music in his voice. Um, I got a bachelor's pre-law minor in criminal justice. Well, my JD says Melton was right. Take that, you idiots. No one with a master's degree in criminal justice opens with saying they got a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. <laughs> if Ava Dan knew the secrets I had on Steel Toe, he'd be so pissed. What? Criminal justice is very different than pre-law. Chad's going off. He's not wrong, but also schizo. All right. We are fighting, and that's the way I like it. Uh, Moody, do we have it uh, available to people? Look, don't abuse this. Don't get me in trouble. I, I, you know, I can't even fathom what you idiots could spam uh, and make this say because you're all savage mud sharks, but. Uh, Moody, go ahead and post the instructions. If you go to our tip page at nobodylikesonions.com slash tip. Oh, here we go. Is it going to do it? Testing not real. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think the test. I, I don't think the test ones do it because your real one did it. The, the uh, Or maybe you don't know how to do it. Or do I need to refresh something on my end? I'm here to have fun, and I like shows that like to have fun. Let's have fun. Oof. All right, we're going to try it one more time. Moody, programming is harder than rocket science. Does anyone know April's background? Yeah, it's a banner. Is that working? Nope. I'm so relaxed. I forgot what kind of degree I have. Looks like it's working great, Moody. Swinging a whiff. You'll get it. You'll get it. You let me know when it's good. <laughs> what is Who are these podcasts? Oh my gosh, I am very happy to say that we are joined by a special... Works on my end, you'll have to refresh your source. Hold on. You act like I know how to do any of this. And I don't think it works regardless. Who are these podcasts? Bubba, you be, be, be. Um, refresh cache of current page. Yeah, 
Now try it. Was that enough? I'm an official member of Z Nation. That intro so bad. It's catchy. Um, Garth Brooks is a mud shark. Hey there, Patrick. Can you hear me? Okay, it's working. We now have the ability to let our chat room use Aaron M. Holt's voice <laughs> to announce anything on the stream. Um, Aaron loves Citizen M. He tells him fucking everything. Oh, is that guy a spy? That intro is great. I think. Special guest today, Aaron Imholt from Steel Toe. What's up, Aaron? Hey, nothing. I don't know what I have to do with anything Chad Zumach related, but thanks for having me. Okay. See, he loves being a part of it. Like, he does love being a part of the community and the gang. So it's weird to tap out. Like, I find it even more and more cringe to tap out. When you brought it all on and you love it. So let me explain <laughs> what I have here for us today. Aaron, of course, from the Steel Toe Morning Show. Also someone who uh, has some things to say about Chad Zubak and his style of entertaining. So Don't you make him say something that's yeah. going to get me in trouble. So <laughs> Chad recently but we can make a whole show where he talks shit about his wife, Ashley, and then... Immediately deletes them. And fortunately... I have people out there who help me out, who record these things and send them to me. And boy, was he going off on you because he found out. Anthony I think it has regular uh, filters, too, for like curse words and stuff. So just try to make it clean. I was wondering if I uh, if you wanted to get through first. I, I didn't know who it would be, but I am I am, you know, secretly tickled to know that it was uh the lovely, talented, and newly sober Chad Zuma. Yes, correct. He's sober. He's loving it. He's oh, yeah. addicted I had to, to get being the vape. sober. I think he says at one point in this. Yes. <laughs> he's ever been. He's the best he's ever been. He I have to say, always set the bar low. He's already seeing differences in himself. He's sure. bragging That's about fire. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, Aaron, you have not seen this yet, right? No, I have not. I'm and, very excited. And Eric, you haven't seen this either, right? Nope, I have not. Okay, perfect. Because I wanted to get the uh, reaction from uh, from both of you. Let's start off with somebody tells Chad Anthony Cumia did Aaron's show. So this is his real-time reaction <laughs> to the <laughs> Yeah, today did 90 minutes? What that Sorry. Fuck? Vaping. <laughs> Boy, Anthony. Way to ruin whatever fucking legacy you have by going on some... Yeah, that's a good point. Imagine it the other way around. He's targeting my sobriety. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Anthony has ruined his legacy by going on Aaron's show. And by the way, Aaron, I didn't know that you were an open micer. I thought that you were a, a morning jock. I thought was your job. I thought I was just a morning hack, but apparently. <laughs> I I'm just a, ordered some ice cream cannolis. Is that a real thing? <laughs> I suppose so. That's not the th I know you've done stand up before, but that's not really what you're known yeah. for. Boy, talk about the curtain jerker calling the open micer a hack. Boy. <laughs> All right. So you can tell he's very upset that Anthony was on your show for 90 minutes. We yeah, don't have no fucking stream schedule. With his time, and he was very funny. And, uh, stream schedule. What am I new? I don't know why that would upset someone so much. <laughs> wow. We aren't steel toe. We're not. We're not meeting here at a time, nerd. Anthony for going on a shit show. What's next? A public access show? Hey, <laughs> Anthony, you're better than that. You're better than going on a show that's way beneath you. But whatever. It, I'm I'm glad he doesn't. I care. always do whatever no, streams. He obviously yeah. does not care. And he doesn't care. Yeah, and I'm I'm jealous because I tried to get that type of blowback from him years ago, and <laughs> he did. I just got blocked, and and that was it. He's extremely thin skinned Never said shit about. I only said shit about me once. Oh, Eric. And then that was he, it. He texted me about that. He goes, "Who the fuck is yeah. this Eric?" Zane Timmy now? Tables in the building. Because when, when you were talking yeah. shit about it, he he was all all sorts of butthurt about it. Yeah. Since then, he's uh, he's he's more um, 
responsive to these to these moments. And <laughs> who that, are that, that, these that's podcasts? W A D P. People go in his chat to tell him this stuff to elicit exactly this reaction. Like the person who went to tell him this wasn't going there to be like, "Hey, Chad." Just thought you might like to know. They're like, watch what the watch what he's yeah. gonna do. Chad <laughs> is like two D chess over yes. here. <laughs> There's only one place to move your thing. All right, so <laughs> this is Chad <gasps> projecting, and we learn a lot about Chad with his immediate reaction. He didn't think this out. He hasn't really thought about this. He just learned that his his buddy Anthony, who he's been on Anthony's show so many times, he looks up to him. He's just destroyed his legacy. By talking to Aaron in April <laughs> oh, for 90 minutes. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I'm sure it was fantastic. I, what I, if you gave April her own show on the network? April's gabbing with the girls. You know, you come on in the morning. It's just gabbing with the girls in April. April in the a.m. <laughs> um... And then she could do her own thing and have her own, like, you know, girl rock nation. Why are these glasses refusing to get cleaned? Because if she had her own show, she could control the vibe. Aaron would be free to go off starting little radio wars. You know, it it wouldn't necessarily work or be clean because it's not like you can't attack April just because she's not on the show. Just because she's not on the show doesn't make her unattackable. Ashley LaRue's not on the show. And, um, you know, we got Chad talking about her. So what is taking April off the show do? Um, big fat nothing that I'm aware of. My DMs are open for anyone who wants to share info on Steel Toe. Hey, Misery Loves Clips, this is my grift. <laughs> I guarantee that fucking try hard. It's probably the biggest guess he's ever got. He's I'm just kidding. You've been around way longer. I defer oh to your God, expertise. I'm just cool glad now. to give everybody a place to hang tonight. Like, yeah, if you got some did. video suggestions, yeah. let me know. Yeah. Oh. Send your links in to Chad at nobody likes onions.com. Chad at nobody likes onions.com. I'll get him immediately live on the show. Jerk First of all, twice, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking ate. Yeah. I like that he says he, he was up shaking. This yeah. is the guy who's visibly shaking on almost every show when people fuck with them. Yeah, yeah but that's the times. delirium tremor. Probably now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, correct. Oh, I love it. And uh, he might, oh, he hasn't heard the interview yet. Uh, and if I were Chad and I were already mad that Anthony and, I, Anthony and I spoke for an hour and a half, don't listen to the interview because two of Anthony's favorite topics to keep coming back to, to make fun of one, obviously Greg Opie Hughes, his second favorite was Chad Zuma. Oh my God. All right. Did you ever want good stuff as he's doing this video, he's walking through a neighborhood. Nobody's made a tip yet happen. Come on. I want to hear somebody make Aaron talk <laughs> and give me the mind. There's a guy out in his driveway, like working on his car and Chad's just in front of him yelling into his phone. I, Gabbing I can't with the hole. What these people think. There must be welfare checks being called in. Yeah. All they the time. have their phone in one hand and they're about to hit dial and they go, oh, no, it's Zumok oh, again. It's, Never no, mind. It's it's, okay. I thought it was a vagrant. <laughs> yeah. When do we get vagrant? Home? All right. Jesus <laughs> can I Can I ask? Because I'm still establishing a timeline because a lot of what I have for you when we feature it involves. What is Simpcast? The Aaron. What, what what happened? What is it the same scenario as what I did? I just didn't like him and I precipitated a fight or what? So the stuttering John stuff started, you know, taking off. And then Chad said he was going to jump in. And on our show, we saw it and we just, we'd never heard of Chad before, but we immediately kind of diagnosed exactly what it was, what he was without knowing it. We are like, oh, this guy's just trying to hop on to try and get some traction. He's just trying to piggyback. Um, if you're a member, you can post a link uh, with the videos. And if you're not a member, you can email them to me, chad at nobodylikesonions.com. And they'll come up on my screen here. Chad, C-H-A-D, at nobodylikesonions.com. Every time he spoke, we'd play it. We'd make fun of him. And then it just really, I mean, Well, he the best exploded. part, if I could just elaborate on that, the best part, Aaron, 
was at first he knew everything about your show, and then he yeah. didn't know who you were or where you were from. Uh, they're from like North Dakota or something. I think his name is yeah. Bill. I, I don't know. Andy. <laughs> he tried to pull yeah. one of those moves. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's so much. I mean, he was just always so much fun to yeah. tease and make fun of. But now it's not even a colorful spiral. It's like the guy hit the ground. Like he did the spiral. He hit the ground, and now he's continuing to burrow into the earth. Like the, 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 <laughs> the, the laws of physics don't apply to the downfall of Chad Zuma. He hits the object and then continues to bury beneath it. He can't be held by the laws of physics. Yet another reason why none of them should be running their mouths on people's on people on their own show. They have nothing to say when confronted by the people they bash. Yeah, that's true always wins and he always comes out on top and it's like dude look at where you are right it's like you don't get to say everything about a guy like they went over everything chad's done which i love doing that's great but then chad just goes what about your ex-wife though and then you go like whoa over the line what you're gonna see here is him trying to figure out what anthony would even talk to Aaron about <laughs> on He's his still show going? oh hey this oh, goes yeah. out for a while oh, take this no. out and if you're a follower and you believe in his, he contradicts himself all the time, goes back on everything he says, really doesn't stand for shit. And you can tell he's a narcissist for no reason. He's talking about you, by the way. Moody, me. nobody's he's taking it. Nobody wants you. to make, nobody wants to pay 333 to make Aaron talk. Times I have zero this is a bust. I thought this would be popular as fuck. Maybe we should make it a dollar. You guys need it cheaper? What's your, what's your uh, resilience? I can't make it free because you never stop it's doing it. Single example is all I'm going to need from you. If, if I was like, Chad Zubox never said a funny joke. I can give you 38 examples. Right. Yeah. I have them on my board right here. Yeah. You've you know? literally played at the clip of the stand up and watched. Ty Rivera works and, uh, and uh, Steel Toe works. You just put Ty colon or Toe colon. It'll make it talk. Over again. Now that you know he's talking about you. This, this gets very funny. And if you're a follower and you believe in his, he contradicts himself all the time, goes back on everything he says, really doesn't stand for shit. And you can tell he's a narcissist for no reason. <laughs> and his ego got shattered by me and he can't let it go. He oh. cannot let it go after he admitted defeat. This is the problem Chad makes though. He does. Cause he goes like, uh, you know, I don't really watch it. The guys in North Dakota or whatever. And then he's like, you can tell he's a narcissist. Cause he did this, 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 and that. And it's like. Well, you either don't watch it or, you know, it's like Corey Adam talking about this show. It's like Corey Adam knew what time I was on in his time zone. Corey Adam knew how my paywall worked. Corey Adam had all this information about me and my show. Most of it was inaccurate. But it's like what these people, they want it both ways. They want the cool factor of not knowing who the show is, but also they want to like correct people and when they're misinformed. It's f that's a funny, funny gene that that uh, super megalomaniac people have. I love that. Like I'm too big to know who you are. Also, you're wrong about him. He does go live on Thursdays. It's like, oh wow, okay. Do you remember admitting oh. defeat there? Aaron? I, 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 I do. Ha I do actually forget. I don't know if you have it on your board or if anybody has a clip. I do not recall this admitting defeat moment, but I'm sure when Chad swears to god he believes he heard it yeah. i'm sure when he repeats it in his head it sounds great you know he start he's developing tits too yeah. and he's starting, yeah. he's starting to look like one of the people if you ever saw that movie cocoon about the old folks that didn't steel toe used to be fat though but he reminds he reminds me of one of the people in that fucking movie he um he was on uh, I, I watched a little mlc today i literally watched five minutes of it and the entire chat was talking about how fat Chad was. They were, they said, Jesus. The entire chat was going over under 280, and they were all guessing over, oh, yeah. and, like, he's tipping three bills. I mean, that whole – that show has stopped being about, like, people watching a show. It's now just hundreds of people in a chat entertaining each other with creative ways to shit on Chad Zuma. God, it's it's remarkable the um how John fades because of he's not doing anything to this has taken up. It's it's just, yeah. just supplanted. It's remarkable. I it, think I Chad's whole obsession with like victory and defeat must come from the fact this is the only like diagnosis I can give is that he fired his big atom bomb which was like the kids and the ex-wife stuff and all of that. 
And then we keep we kept releasing videos, kept watching his streams, kept making fun of him. And he went, oh, shit, I don't I don't. He's 36 else, so years old. I won and then right. shout it 80 times. <laughs> Somebody said 36. <laughs> missing me on that one. Yeah, he's, a, he's like, you, we, you guys are providing all these examples. He goes, yeah. You got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. What a dick. Oh, also, and he predicts that April will also leave you eventually, which is another W Wait. for Chad. Uh oh. I'm eight years older. When I'm that wasn't a voice tip. That's not a fair prediction. I turned it down. We didn't hear it. <laughs> Remember, you have to type T O E colon and then whatever you want Aaron to say. If you type T O E colon and then whatever you want Aaron to say. He had Kumi on and he probably brought me up right out of the gate just because his narcissist. You fucked it up, Tim. And his ego was blown. I All right. This is hilarious. You know what's funny about that? I have to say. Yeah, I didn't bring Chad. Make it a dollar, Moody. Can you log into Stream Elements and change it to a dollar? You guys can make make Aaron M. Holt say anything for a dollar. Just type it out. Moody's telling you how to do it. Nobody likes onions. Is the best show in the world. That's Ty Rivera. All right. If I was a narcissist, I would just talk about myself to Anthony the whole time. It's funnier with Aaron M. Holt's voice. Do we're we're on Aaron, not Ty tonight. I bet yeah. you any amount of money. He talks about me immediately. He's like, well, how much Honestly, money? Because you lost. Well, whoever it's tipped him off on Anthony being on the Chad, stand-up isn't that bad. Exactly. I got some videos from when we worked together for a uh, It's very much like you broke a show. We can go back and look at him. We're on a date with someone else. You're like, yeah. I bet you they talked shit about me the whole time. Meanwhile, who are these podcasts? Never cover Shuli's four hours of a podcast interviews with doing that for literal years. cult members. Um Bert Kreischer's a narcissist. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, John Lennon's a narcissist. Oh, Chrissy Mayer's uh, a narcissist. Ed, Chrissy Mayer's. Frank yeah. Pellegrino's Frank a narcissist. These are all yeah. narcissists. It's like I don't know if you're getting that word right. You're. Well, it's, no. I, I, I think you're kind of. I think you're making that too broad of a term. But, yeah. but let me also say this though. He's talking about people in show business. People in show business <laughs> tend to be narcissists. It's, yeah, not that, well. it's not that surprising. This, who are these podcast guy? Carl, his voice. Everything's like at a 10. He's so like a child. He's overexcited about everything. That's his only energy. Constantly. Like, I like what the guy says, but he never turns that energy off. It's like, that can't be your real all the time voice. Well, that's all this guy tries to do. He even said, and I don't have this clip, so I'll just say it. He talks about no cult leader. Look up Rudrani Devi from Access Consciousness, an actual Scientology spinoff leader, not member. Okay, isn't a leader still a member? It's not like I was wrong. Calm down, everybody. You're like the hair club guy. I'm not just a member. I'm the leader. Okay. Brought me up right out of the gate just because his narcissistic injury. And his ego was blown. I guarantee it. I will put money down. I know how this guy thinks. Send a clip to your email. Money. Okay, let's check. Was, oh, he's hurting. He's hurting. And he tries That's to manipulate him. his audience. Uh -huh. He'll try to make people think a certain way. And he probably took Anthony down a weird road because Anthony will go where the wind blows. But if Ooh. he says, like, oh, this guy's great, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's great. If he's like, oh, this guy stinks, he's like, oh, yeah, 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 he stinks. He just goes where the wind blows. This is a clip of Aaron uh backing and taking part on anthony talking about stuttering john's family um hold on here let me see if i can copy this link why is it doing this my computer's being fucking weird All right, I'm just going to right-click, copy link, go up and paste it. Anthony Cumia nuking Stuttering John Melendez. You know, watch it. I'll be too upset uh, now, about it. Yeah. But it's kind of about opened OB the floodgates. Sorry, there's two going on. Show. This cancer thing because Carl and I were kind of dancing the line going you know it looks fucked up it looks a little iffy 
Anthony last They're week, both said, wearing these iron-on steel toe morning show t-shirts. Again, this logo looks like something someone would have designed for a mug in Cafe Press in 2004. And if you zoom in on the logo, I, I, I'm sorry, I just have to do this. The, I mean, this is wild. And again, I, I'm not like against Steel Toe. Aaron seems like he's trying to figure it all out. He's doing well. I'm not shitting all over these guys, but like, you got to know. That this is the logo of your show. It's like, what is this? It's a nuclear explosion. Um, you know, can I get Steel Toe Morning Show? YouTube.com slash Steel Toe Morning Show. This is part of your logo? <laughs> is this a tire that's blown out with a nuclear explosion in it? And a boot that has um, energy spikes coming out. Like, what are these spikes on the end of the boot? And you can see this is ironed on. 5.5 inch vinyl sticker. It's like they're making these in their house. He's got a TM after Steel Toe Morning Show. Like, it's trademarked, guys. As if that's how trademarks work. Do you think he has a registration at the trademark office? No, 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 no. What's going on? Why does the boot have a hole in it if it's steel? Shouldn't that be tough? You know, the rest of the boot isn't steel, but it's all intact. The, the toe that's steel not only has a hole in it, the fire's getting through and there are nails shooting out of it like a brad nailer and the youtube address is it like what's going on this isn't even the youtube address anymore now it's got an ad symbol and it's got a username you know your logo is not supposed to have your youtube url in it any designer will tell you no urls in logos we're not putting We're not embedding smart objects. <laughs> Holy balls. So you ironing this onto two shirts and convincing your shiny new wife to wear this. It's like, it'd be like me wearing an NLO hat live on the show. Cringe as fuck. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You know what? Fuck you, John. Sue me. You're running a scam on people. <laughs> he just said well. what you're doing is illegal. <laughs> you're faking it, and you're not giving anyone the money. And I'm like, wow. I guess the cats are out of the cats out of the bag there. Well, there's nothing we have to like back that up, but it right. doesn't look good either. So well, Anthony's that guy running right into the machine gun fire. We're like, fuck it. Let him cover he's us. It, he's doing it for all of us, yes. yes. Anthony Cumia, the closest he's ever been to being Jesus is when he just runs into the cannon fodder, or cannon fire, becoming cannon fodder. Uh, <laughs> Greg Kelly says, how much did you guys donate to the Stuttering John Cancer Fund? Uh, just jokes. All the That's jokes. It. That's all. Uh, so here we go. This is Stuttering John responding to Cumia. I don't believe this is today. It, it could I think be, but this I believe is my this is stuttering John responding to Kumia from last oh, week. Oh, sorry, Let's... fifty twenty three mark. I mean, I kind of want to see it all. I don't know stuttering John. God. John, the first time you threaten to sue someone and take them for everything they're worth, they'll go, "Ah, <laughs> oh, John's a fucking idiot." That's not a big deal. The second time you do it, oh, there goes John again. By the third time, that person looks around and goes, is anyone going to fucking shut this moron up? Okay, I'll do it. That doesn't mean Anthony was mad at you for calling him a liar. He was mad because you kept saying you were going to fucking sue him. So he said, you know what? Fuck you, John. Sue me. Come on. Put your I'll money give you, where your mouth is. I'll give you all of the ammo you need. Let's do it. 
John, you made uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in your career. Can you buy a non-shitty mic, please? I mean, we, we had a, a severance package from a shitty small-town radio station when we came to streaming, and we could buy the decent stuff. Fuck's sake, John. Yeah, if you do it right, it really stretches. Yes. Quite a ways. Yeah, so John, it's like 500 bucks for a Rodecaster Pro, which can EQ every mic you have so you don't sound tinny and... Ac- Again, you know, and I don't want to do this. This guy runs a bigger show than me. Steel Toe's a bigger show than this show on YouTube. I, I, I could almost bet you it isn't in total. But on YouTube, it's a bigger show. Fine, fine, fine. He's figured it out. I get it. He's a success guy. I'm not. Um, you bragging about a quick, you barely have it figured out. Everything about your setup says that you came from audio only terrestrial radio, your fluorescent lighting, your banner. You don't get to run. You guys split the fucking screen back here in, in these days when you're talking about this shit. Look at it. You're wearing your own shitty logo. You got a horrible use of screen real estate. You don't have it figured out. You don't get to run around wagging your finger at other shows about their equipment and setup. You're not there yet. You know, your co-host said my show looks like shit because I film, I look like I film in a closet. To which I said, if your closet looks like this, you need to get in there immediately and start filming from there. <laughs> be, be a very nice closet setup. Your co-host making fun of my setup is insane. I've been doing this since 2005. Our setup on Pal Talk back in the day looked like yours Now, our shit in 2006 looked like yours. Now, these miserably love comedy guys and the Shuli and the, you know, it's all four square basic bit shit. This is what our shit looked like years ago. It's what Keith and the girls looks like now. It's embarrassing. But those MLC guys don't sit over there telling everybody they've got the production figured out. They just fucking get to it. You go around wagging your finger at everybody telling them you run a professional show with topics, get it together, do some research, do some show prep. Most of your shit is the same garbage with less laughs, with less production value, with more logos, with more URLs. In what world do you get to tell this guy, get it together? His whole shot is at least his whole shot. You have, you know, sidestep steel grills and smoke and boot graphics that literally resembles clip art from Word 2007. What planet are you talking about, dog? (laughs) You don't get to go on tangents anymore about setups. (laughs) This is so wild. Echo we like you do. Sure. People are saying uh, Kumi is not, <laughs> Kumi is not dumb. He saw an opportunity um, to make money, and he got a bunch of people to pile on John. It's not. It's only got ruined when Shuli came in and ran it into the ground, like he does with everything else. Clout and success doesn't overshadow the quality of character. That's a dope closet. This guy is making a lot of good points, and I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Won't happen again, M. Dude's got windows in his closet. He's loving life. Um, I'm being pulled to the dark side. There's almost zero show prep in a steel toe show. Maybe that 30 minutes of overtime is prepped, and that's about it. Yeah, it's just like, again, I don't have the biggest show, and I certainly don't have everything figured out, but I also don't run around wagging my finger at people that I don't about things that I don't have dialed in. I'm not telling him how to get YouTube views. I'm telling him that sets embarrassing in 2023. Your co-host coming on and doing blinker fluid jokes and you roll a flop like llama, roll a flop of llama, me, all copters. 
What's wrong, Patrick? Did you have a stroke? I think so. <laughs> it's like, don't pretend you don't have access to other shows to see what they look like in 2023. This looks like hot garbage out of a can. If a show could be dragged and dropped, this would be it. <laughs> I mean, and now they're just going to rail on, on his equipment. It's like, okay. <laughs> Uh, I like the woods girl leaving for Kumia. I don't know what that means. SM7Bs, uh, the EV mics are just as good as this. Couple nice cameras. You've got the shitty Shure stage mic that comics use. Pat Dixon, stage. by the way. This guy's really making fun of, of, of his Shure SM58. It looks like that might even be like a Samson mic. You can't even really tell with the, with the cover on it. But that mic, for all intents and purposes, is almost... For when it gets compressed down and releases a fucking podcast, all you, all these idiots are streaming to StreamYard anyway. Do you think that's picking up all your high fidelity? Dorks use StreamYard. I use it to show the chat on the screen. I'm not paying for this. I've rigged it. It's green screened. You know, I just take advantage of their service for completely free. I would never send my video to them. And let them crush it and compress it to shit along with my audio and pretend like I know anything about production. Everybody sending your show to stream yard or whatever the fuck, you know, rebroadcast, recast, all that shit. It's, it's ruining your streams with so low fidelity. And you're going to tell them a sure SM58 is going to give them, uh, uh, you know, any sort of different sound than an SM7B. Once it's crushed down to a podcast, shut up. I'll plug an SM7B to this and uh, uh, this is, I'll plug in a SM58 to, the, okay. Where's the audio? Fuck. Nobody did it right. It didn't read out any voice. If you want, look, if you want a tip and make Aaron read out your tip, you have to start it with T-O-E and then the tip. Moody says that was me. Sorry. I don't know what I was ranting about, but either way, I was right. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, StreamYard. Yeah. All these guys use StreamYard and they want to act like equipment matters at that point. So like you've compressed it to shit. You think that you and Kevin and you guys all streaming in on each other and talking over top of each other is giving you top crisp audio and video. It's like, all right. Really nice compliments towards our set today, you said. Yeah, uh, Pat Dixon was really good. Cool. Like, our set. <laughs> like, I've watched a few of your guys' shows and a few of your clips. Uh, I, I like your sound setup. I like your studio setup. Uh, so I counted one in the pro backdrop column from yeah. Pat Dixon. And I'll take that from a yes. Pat Dixon. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. upset that he decides to trash my transgender child. I mean, this is, this is, this is the level... This is the level of despicable, but this is how <laughs> uh, dummy can't say despicable. Uh, I, I saw a, an animated gif on Reddit, I think, of him ripping the shirt off. I don't know if it was edited into a loop or whatever, but it took him like seven minutes to rip his shirt off. It was so funny. It's like if you know you're going to rip your shirt off when you get like a breakaway shirt or start it out with scissors before the show. Yeah, their laughs are crazy. They do these, like Chad does, these maniacal laughs. Like, ha, 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 you lose. Ha, 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 ha. It's like, these aren't genuine reactions from genuine humans. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> this is the level of disp 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 the disp bad guy stuff <laughs> bad guy cracking stuff. ape up this, this is going great okay it's i mean you, you you should only feel sad this is the level of how of how low you can be but i right so stop i want my baby back baby back baby back baby back baby back baby back back baby back back baby 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 Look at how disp look at how disp low these guys are. He's like a little mouse taunting a cat. Like And then when he gets bit, he goes, Why is that cat such a bully? Exactly. Oh, why are you so mean? 
you know, I've already reached out to Rain, Glad, and Bully's oh. out. Oh, fuck you. You pandering piece of shit. God, I wish... <laughs> I wish I could find out what Howard thinks about stuttering John. He probably doesn't. Howard never leaves his house, so he probably doesn't think about stuttering John. But how embarrassed he is that this is where this fucking idiot is now. I would love well, I've contacted that. Rain and Glad and everything else. Do they want to hear the shit you've said about gay people and black people and stuff like that in your career, John? You fucking hypocrite. Maybe I'll work at uh, getting Howard's opinion for you. Good. Glad that is a pipe Good dream, luck. isn't yeah. it? Good luck. So now April, the manager, the GM of the show, she's going to work on getting Howard on the show. And we're going to get Howard's opinion of stuttering. John, I don't like people who try to get people. Uh, um, his numbers have increased only because the Chad thing is going down. Um, But once all this ends, the fact with his backpedaling, the number will die. Yeah, I mean, where? what is his brand now? The guy who fucks with people until they mention his kids? Because everyone's just going to mention his kids immediately. But I love April, producer extraordinaire. You know, she must she must be taking hit, hints from uh, Booker Roland or something. I don't, you know, like, she's like, maybe I'll work on getting Howard's opinion for you. And then he looked over like, shit. And she's like, wouldn't that be the dream? It's like, no. Howard's a lost, broken dope. Howard left his house for the first time in three years, like a week ago. He, like, this dude's life is ruined. He's old and, you know, doesn't have much time left on this rock, and he will never be normal again. COVID ruined and rotted his little brain. They ruined and rotted his little brain. And let's not act like before that he wasn't cracked, you know. Opie and Anthony started pointing that out, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Hoo-hoo, Robin. <laughs> so these two sitting in their fucking basement in Minnesota in 2023 going, wouldn't it be a dream to get Howard's opinion? I'd turn down his call right now just to make the news. Howard Stern is shit. He's, look, full respect for what he accomplished, his career, yada, 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 Rigby. The point is, uh, you know, this guy couldn't be more out of touch. That fight with Ari Shafir about how podcasting's a joke, you want to be a real guy, you want a real career, you wake up every day, swipe into a corporate building, Head up an elevator, go down the hall to a studio, meet with a staff of 12 people, put your headphones on, get a list of the breaks for the day, record some ads, do some marketing promos. You want to be a real broad? It's like that's the most embarrassing shit ever, dog. And that was how many fucking years ago it was cringe and embarrassing. Hello? So, like, this idea that, like, the dream in 2023 would be getting Howard's opinion. It's like, Howard shouldn't have an opinion on anything other than what mattress is the softest and what foods he can chew with his non-teeth. Howard shouldn't have an opinion on anything other than, you know how to get to his helicopter safely and avoid the threat that is COVID-19. <laughs> like, this guy's out of it. He's out of it. His opinion on anything today matters not. <laughs> like, it just, it just doesn't. Um, I'd imagine we all agree on old Howard Stern. Kumia publicly spouts white nationalist rhetoric theory daily and Steel Toe always shrugs it off. Is that is it really that bad with Kumia now? Like I don't watch Kumia, so but is it really like that every day? Howard has made and by the way, you know, have you met Howard's made uh has maids pop the bubble wrap in his packages because the air from China. He really does that. I believe you. That's funny if it's not true, but if I do believe you, that's where we're at. 
He's not. It's like, and he, and he must have nobody around him. It must be just an army of sycophants who don't say anything to him or convince him to, you know. Like, wouldn't you be like, we've all had COVID. It's fine. They lied. It was only fat people and old people that really needed to worry, and old fat people. Yeah, but still, I don't know how it works. <laughs> it's like, well, we've all, we're telling you, Howard, it's fine. Come with me, and you'll see there's a world outside of COVID 19. You can come, you can walk in the sun without ever getting sick again. I mean, it's ridiculous. Howard makes every year the value of Joe Rogan's decade-long contract. Uh, he's obviously not shit, but he's stuck in the past. You First of all, no one knows what, what Joe Rogan's contact was. Some speculate it's $200 million. Now, is it a five-year deal? It looks like it at least, because I think we're over three now. But the difference is Rogan isn't, again, taking a helicopter in... Three days a week, four days a week. What is Howard down to? And uh, phoning it in with a bunch of fucking phonies. He literally does anything for his show that he wants. He probably has no time limit. I mean, I'm sure there's something in the contract. We don't know because he didn't immediately publicize it like Crowder. Howard actually might have a point with podcasts, though. Not talking about nobody likes onions, but just look at the garbage out there um, and shilling any product possible. Yeah, I mean, look, I've been approached to sell. I, I made a rule almost 10 years ago now that we were just done with. I, here's how, honestly how I missed out on uh, YouTube. Is like, I was like, YouTube's annoying. It has ads and stuff. I don't want to be a part of it. Like I, I had advertising turned off and all this stuff. And just ignored YouTube until the pandemic. That's when I got into YouTube. But um, I don't like ads. I don't like doing reads. And we used to do all that. We used to do the brain tonic and the bark box. GoDaddy was our sponsor in 2005, one of our first sponsors. Um, you know, all these, everything from Audible to everything you've heard on a fucking podcast. We've done it all. Individual deals, brand deals, merch deals. And I still to this day, I got one over here. You know, I bring them in here to read. Oh, I was taking notes on the back of one of them that I printed out to read because it's so fucking retarded. Can I get some more light? I'm old. Let me see if I can have this. It's too fucking. I got to make it brighter. Dear Patrick, award-winning brewery, yada, yada, yada. We'd like, we're the makers of uh, Boulder. What is this called? Sucker Punch Dill Pickle Sour Beer. It's got uh, Sucker Punch Pickle Sour Brine, 5.2% alcohol by volume. Best served in. They've got ad copy here they want me to read. This is from a an ad agency where she signs it. They, them. You know, I can't even. I, I honestly wrote her back and I said, I don't do business with they, thems. <laughs> People don't know what to say when you hit them back with something like that. But like, okay, so they're going to pay me $500 to read about apple sour honey suckle beer and what as if you want a pickle brined beer and i'm supposed to what just bring them in here and kick it kick back with a beer and get a guest in here we both just drink a pickle beer and we're all like this will go great at your next summer barbecue for 500 dollars." i'm supposed to These guys do it, though. It, you know, how many of these guys do you see out there peddling the, the established titles bullshit? They hit me up. 
They'll do any pod. If you have a hundred views on your videos, you can get an established titles payment. Hit them up. Now they will pay you in Scottish land. <laughs> do the reads like Bill Burr. Yeah, I guess you can. We used to have Cheryl's barrels. <laughs> it's all gay. It's all gay. I, you know, if there's something good enough for me to tell you about, I'll just tell you about it. And I've had people send me, oh, we used to do, Ca I did Casper. If you want to buy a Casper mattress, head to nobody, nobody likes onions.com slash Casper, save 75, 150. I don't know what it is now. Noble gold. Yeah, just all these dumb ass. And you know, they're like, I, yeah, never trust anyone who's trying to sell you a VPN. Like VPNs are shady as fuck. Uh, I'm not using the N word, but just straight up white nationalist propaganda. Yeah, but I also don't know about anybody who says white nationalist propaganda in a serious sentence. Howard's packages are quarantined for 24 hours so the virus dies. He's wiping down his groceries. Um... I don't, if, if Sirius is paying, uh, Howard a hundred million a year, it's bananas. If they're still paying him that, that's bananas. Uh, what did ONA call Howard Hamptons, Howie helicopter, helicopter, Howie sling some brain force plus and super male vitality. Yeah. They're all doing the. AG1 greens. One square foot of Scottish countryside. You too can be a lord or a lady. You, you dig? Because this, and Twitter support, because this kind of shit should not be allowed. You know. Fuck you, Homophobia, John. transphobia. Nah, nah. Oh, why? Because you feel guilty. 120 million a year, somebody said, according to Google, which is nuts. And the thing about a guy like Howard, you either have to, like, phase him out completely and let him go or keep upping him, his payment. So this will bankrupt SiriusXM. Now, SiriusXM is a joke to anybody with a brain and a modern sensibility, but there are a lot of yokel jokels out there still on the series xm train believe it or not it is the biggest audio media company in the world in existence last i checked they had 32 million subscribers to this day still so a lot of people uh you know get it with a new car so that is a large contingent of people but say what you want it's the largest audio entertainment company in the world and that might sound like something but they're not all listening to howard you know don't get me wrong a healthy percentage of them are um but people like music they have great music stations they have a million other uh personalities that attract people in i, me I remember back in the day listening to o and a would constantly advertise that Tom Petty's Buried Treasure Show. It's like, okay. So they have a lot of, like, you know, nonsense, comedy stuff. Um, It's white nationalist propaganda. I'm not CNN. I'm speaking literally. All right. I'll look. I, I look at anything anybody would send me. I believe you. I'm not on anybody's side. I'll suck any dick. As long as it's pointed up. They want older people's money, like reverse mortgages. <laughs> a lot of truckers and subs in their cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where their audience is. 100%. Guilty because your kid became trans probably because you're a shitty dad? Well, if Anthony can say it, I can say it. <laughs> Gloves are off. Anthony, you are our hero. You have uh, been the torch in the darkness on the Stuttering John thing. Aaron missed you. Yeah. yeah. The dance and Glad that is a pipe Good dream, luck. isn't yeah. it? Good luck. Like uh, I want to hear Mark out to Howard again. Piece of shit. God, I wish. 
I wish I could find out what Howard thinks about stuttering John. He probably doesn't. <laughs> Howard never leaves his house, so he probably doesn't think about stuttering John. But how embarrassed he is that this is where this fucking idiot is now. I would love well, I've contacted Rain and Glad and everything else. Do they want to hear the shit you've said about gay people and black people and stuff like that in your career, John? You fucking hypocrite. Maybe I'll work at uh, getting Howard's opinion for you. Good luck. Glad that is a pipe Good dream, luck. isn't yeah. it? Good luck. This and Twitter support, because this kind of shit should not be allowed. You know, fuck you, homophobia, John. transphobia. Nah, nah. Oh, why? Because you feel guilty <laughs> because your kid became trans, probably because you're a shitty dad. Well, if Anthony can say it, I can say it. <laughs> Gloves are off, Anthony. You. I are- mean, yeah, that's very similar to what Chad says, right? You cheated on your wife. You're a shitty dad. It's very similar, Aaron. What well, Anthony said it, I can say it. Anthony says a lot of horrible stuff. You're gonna. If Anthony jumped off a bridge, you dig? Our our hero, you have uh, been the torch in the darkness on the Stuttering John thing. Aaron missed you. Yes. But, John, just because you feel guilty as a dad doesn't mean you need to project that onto Anthony or Carl or me or anybody else. Look, man, that's your hang-up. And you're obviously dealing with it by guzzling Coors Lights, getting really fat, substitute teaching, and trying to eke out a living uh, driving Ubers and shit. No, not in... And by the way, you know, none of the... It may be true, it may be not, but imagine reacting to it with the vitriol of of Chad or, or the insane panic pull the plug on the operation like Aaron. This day and age. Just because you got a little butt hurt... <laughs> Because uh, I called you out for calling me a, you know, a, for stealing a good friend's. This is my first experience with stuttering, John. This guy's great. I like this guy. Cash that I collect. <laughs> How many cats does he have? That's what I need to know. I guarantee he's a cat guy, right? For her spouse who's going through expensive chemo. And you had to adapt. You're collecting it into your own pocket, fuckface. You brought this on yourself. Quit acting like a victim. It's not in their name. You told people to put money in your pocket and, uh, oh, trust me. And, and by the way, Howard Stern said about you, John, you're running a scam a minute. And I don't think people like that change. So you're sitting here telling people, oh, tr- trust me, trust me, have, have, f- 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 have, f- 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 believe what I say. <laughs> put money in my pocket. I'll make sure it gets to these people. Oh, I get it, because he stutters. <laughs> um, yeah, what's going to happen when all the Tesla AI trucks, where's, what's going to happen to all the serious subs? Um, good point talking about kids. Oh, the humanity. Yes, Aaron would jump... Uh, with him, Aaron got hard on for Kumia and loves him. John is the best lol cal of all time. Okay. Oh, people are fading. We're down to 37 viewers. This is shit. Hey, hit the like button if you're liking this and enjoying it. You know, when the numbers start stagnating, I start fa- uh, getting fatter. Well, and then when people go, hey, John, how about you have something set up for him? Oh, they don't want that. Really? Because you haven't had time to ask him. We just asked you now. Subscribe to the channel, too. You know, if you like this stuff and you like these late night hangs, you want to get a notification when we go live. And if you appreciate the stuff, you know, hit like, hit subscribe, give me a thing. Fuck you, fat boy. Sue me. Wow, that's hurtful. I was just plugging the. Most people would never get butt hurt from the likes of this guy. No. You know what I mean? He's just too low on the totem pole. And he's also, like, throwing out the lawsuit stuff a lot. I know That's, like, the second or third time he said it in a few minutes. Sue me. What are you going to sue me? Sue me. And it's like, now you're kind of being the aggressor. Panic in his voice, the speech pattern change and everything right. else. It is It is. Can panic. you picture Aaron, uh, Aaron would never do now a Kumia breakdown like he does all these other shows. It will never happen again. Uh, maybe a year ago. What? Yeah, I mean, like, again, what's the brand now? We do a fun show. That's I'm a, a fun of fun Chad. Of guy, John. You spent years on the Howard Stern show and you didn't learn how to trash people? 
This is really uncomfortable to watch, actually. It's, it's both boring and sad. Did you see your show Friday? Every time he opens his mouth, he proves how right. Uncomfortable to watch. I had to turn it off while I was shitting. I was getting shy. Uh, uh, uh. Fill the drill. Thanks for the five bucks. Pocky should be the last person to criticize trans people. Yeah, so John doesn't like bullying, but he calls Anthony Pocky because of Anthony's okay. pock marks from his childhood acne. Oh, really? But bullying is wrong. First of all, <laughs> my position, call him Pocky. He can make fun of you for being a shitty dad. Look, I mean, Aaron did the same thing to me the other day when I was making fun of low-res cameras on Rogan. He was like, look at you melting with your pock marks. It's like... I may never recover from this. Rules for me and not for thee. Is that what it is, Aaron M. Holt? Because it seems to be your M.O. We can't make fun of your idle, kumiest pockmarks, but mine are on the table. And by the way, mine were eaten out by a pack of rabid dogs. You know, I, I, I got knocked on my back like Ralphie's brother in the coat. In, uh, in in a Christmas story, and I was stuck, and rabid dogs came out of nowhere, and they ate all my peanut butter M&Ms and then started taking just chunks out of my face. Is that funny, Aaron? I didn't think so. And my ex-wife's book about the incident will be available at most Borns and Norbles. Noble Gold. I mean... It's all double standards, you know? Double A, double standards. Aaron April, double standards. Don't make fun of people's family and kids. You're a bad father. That's probably why your kid's trans. You just said that. Pockmarks. Going hard. We do it because it makes them miserable. You said that. You want to be a tough guy who comes out swinging. <laughs> so, uh, again, I think there was a way to gracefully bow out of this if it isn't what you wanted. But, again, now you've... Whew. So now shut the fuck up and take it, bitch. It seems like most people that like to take a... Shut the fuck up and take it, bitch. Like, again, like... Who who are you talking crazy? Stand publicly against like you sound a, like, like Chad. You sound like emotional. Racism or like bullying and shit like that. They're the quickest ones to do it as soon as they're the ones that are being John bullied. John, you're not against Anthony, quote unquote, for his. Wow, did you hear that? That's a good find. Let's go back. You're the first ones to quit when you're the one being bullied. Bullying. He can make fun of you for being a shitty dad. So now shut the fuck up and take it, bitch. It seems like... I mean, look who's talking. This is not... This is right on the money, right? Take it, bitch. Most people that like to take a stand publicly against, like, a, like, yeah. like racism or, like, bullying and shit like that, they're the quickest ones to do it as soon as they're the ones that are being John, bullied. John, you're not against Anthony, quote-unquote, for his bullying. You're against it because he's kicking your fucking teeth in. That's why he's you don't good like at it. it. He's better at it than you, John. Yeah, I know. He's he he's got enough problems of his own, you know. I mean, allegedly, I mean, he was arrested, right, for biting his. This is my whole point. The other day, if every show they watch on their show is boring, what does that make their show? <laughs> um, that should be clipped. Shut the fuck up and take it, bitch. Yeah. We're 56 minutes in on this video. What, uh, we analyzed Anthony Cumia nuking stuttering John Melendez. Young, way young. He could be, a, he's old enough to be her father, biting her hand. And then, I don't know. I know he got Yeah, and you know what? He didn't even fuck that girl up enough to turn her trans. What's your excuse, John? It is. Got arrested. I, you know, I read he pleaded guilty. Circle and, back you know, for another know. shot. And that's what I read. I don't know, you know. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I read. He's quoting the case chapter and verse. Oh, that's what I read, John. You follow me. You know, I don't Stop. Know. It's a legend. It's a legend. But I, mean, I mean, that's what I read. I don't know who would be biting some young girl's hand. It sounds a little sick. Any older man who's dated a younger girl?
Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron bites me all the time. I agree. I agree with a, that. A, a younger girl. Have you ever talked to a girl but in her 20s? Ugh. Look. The most biteable human beings you like. This is the problem, and it's something you learn. You know, I've been doing, I'm 18, coming up on 20 years of doing podcasting. There's thousands of hours of me running my goddamn mouth. <laughs> so I know a couple, here's a couple of things I'm sure of. I'm not sure of what I've said. <laughs> So I'm not going to deny anything right off the bat unless I'm positive about it. But also, like, not everything ages well. And if you're one of these guys who doesn't show growth ever, if you're one of these guys who never admits when you're wrong, uh, you know, you, you really paint yourself into a corner quick. Um, turn her trans. I mean, you can definitely turn someone trans. Look at TikTok. Yeah, it's very funny because it's literally the opposite of what the argument was eight to six years ago. You know, eight years ago, everybody was fighting to be like, it's genetic. It's not a choice. It's like now it's like gender's a choice. Sexuality's a choice. You can be fluid. It's like, yeah, yeah, man. It's opposite of what it was. The minute we got everybody to sign off on it being genetic and and. You know, we're born that way. Lady Gaga had a concert about it. The minute we all got on board with that, they were like, you know what? No. You could be whatever you want. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you figured Aaron out quick. He doesn't admit to his own, his own wrongdoings. Look how bad stuttering John uh, aged. Um, it was like a bag of milks, uh, a bag of milks rate right at a later. Okay. Wait, what is the mentality 13 a reference to? I missed it. Do we got to go back? Oh, mentally 13. I don't know what that means. Never meet. Young girl's hand this sounds a little sick. Any older man who's dated a younger girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron bites me all the time. I don't know who would want to bite a, 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 a younger girl. Have you ever talked to someone? I'm going to split her like a canoe later. Are you splitting canoes? Girl in her 20s? Ugh. The most biteable human beings you'll ever meet. They taste good. That and a menopausal bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Joy Behar and you, the most biteable mm. people. I mean, Fuck. but, you know, I mean, that's him. I mean, I, you know, I've never been fired from a job for any of the horrible offenses he has <laughs> yeah but you've been stashed in the closet because you're untalented you're the butt of a joke at every job you've had yeah i mean john what is like which oh, i like uh ray devito i did his show uh years ago at the creek in the cave when i lived in brooklyn all right that's it uh that's he goes on keaton the girl all the time they're nuts but i like ray devito he's a nice guy john what a treat I love seeing Anthony in that. Welcome. Form. Please subscribe, nice everybody. It means a lot to me. I'm a little channel. Give me a today. like Fuck and a politics. Fuck all that stuff. Let's beat the shit out of stuttering John. Yeah. Fuck Perfect. Everything. All right. Now we just watched the end of that. I want to go back He's now. Giving John money. Eyes that I've seen him tell. Base gloves are off. But two. John is not because I want to see him mark out to Kumi a little bit. He's going to be with Kumi now. They're going to be buddies. I want to see. Not fun to listen to. No, he's incredibly boring. I I was listening to John on uh, when when I was on with Carl and who are these podcasts and he was playing his John clips and I swear to God and Carl's a great host and who are these podcasts? Yeah, Ray Ray's a nice guy. I like Ray. I have nothing against uh, Ray. He went to like his last. I didn't know he was in this universe. And I started to feel. John fatigue. I, you just felt a dragging. We're all riffing. We're all having a great time. We're all laughing our asses off. But I was like, I felt a, a sense of existential dread because I had to listen to Stuttering John again. He's remarkably boring and unentertaining. Whereas Anthony Cumia will be 75 years old and he'll still be able to broadcast. Yep. He'll still be able to do this. <coughs> Anthony Cumia, in my opinion, he'll be dead. is at his absolute best when the gloves are off and he's Beating the living dog shit out of somebody. Because he's act he can be accidentally. Shit up my chat anytime. I like it. And B, he is a mean, 
wretched son of a bitch. Insufferable bastards angry. podcast. Like from what I've heard from people, he's the. Oh uh, yeah, Steel Toe played a clip. Of, played a clip of these guys. Steel Toe's buddies with these guys, I think. And I think that might be because when he's had it, he says it's some bad. of the most vile, disgusting, yep. crippling shit you've ever heard. So, I kind of organized these clips from least vicious to most vicious. And there's three of them. Here's Anthony talking about stuttering John Melendez, clip one. Talking about the criminal and how I'm accusing him of, of the, and I'm not even being subtle here. Yes. Yes, based on everything I know about stuttering John, personally, having known stuttering John over the course of the years, having seen the way he acts with people, having seen what he said to people, the blatant lies that I've seen him tell. Based on that, I will absolutely say that I believe is, he... Earl Skakel's only shtick is asking for pussy in this chat room. And then sometimes he comes in under a sock puppet account and pretends to be a woman that's flirting with himself. It's a really sad, sad downfall for our, for our once very funny comic. He's stealing money under the guise of raising it for cancer. Dude, I think we covered this recently. It doesn't look good. He doesn't go about it the normal way that you would set up. Again, a like April and Aaron talking about what looks good is like, guys, your Friday show is leaving. By the way, and maybe it's brilliant because everybody's going to be watching on Monday. I mean, I won't because it's a morning show and that's insane. I don't do this to get up in the morning. <laughs> People are saying, watch a clip where he says the N word. Send it in. Chad at nobodylikesonions.com. Email it in right now. If you join the, the channel as a member, you can post a link. So, like, Girth Brooks could post a link. Um, or email it to chad at nobodylikesonions.com. Uh, we are on hour six. Go fund me for somebody. <laughs> right. It's a PayPal, by the way. It's not even a GoFundMe. And it's not a business PayPal. It's his personal PayPal. Correct. So you're just giving John money, and he goes, I'll get it to them. Right. It, you're I, having hope that he gets it to them. I don't care who the person is. I don't trust anybody to do that. I will ask them immediately, why don't you set something up in their name? Right. I don't feel comfortable. I'll go give it to the person. You tell me who the person is, I'll give it to them. Moody, are you still here? I, I got to say, I'm disappointed. You know, we, we've trained a voice AI model to talk like Aaron M. Holt. All you have to do is go to nobody likes onions.com slash tips and tip three thirty three or more and start your message with toe T O E colon, and then type anything and send it in. And Aaron M. Holt will read your message, whatever you type after toe, colon. Again, you just go to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips. Moody, post it. This is a tool. <laughs> We're supposed to get it lowered down to a dollar. But, like, this could be really funny if you guys would jump on it. Give me the money. <laughs> Yeah, this show's not a big show, but we do bring in big shows. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how any of it works. And you know why? It's because human nature, like you're too tempted by it. It's money. Right. You know, how easy would it be to just skim a little bit off the top or more? That's exactly it. I'm not it's saying John's taking every dime that people give. Exactly. And just going, oh, I'll pocket it and I'll drink uh, Quiz Lights. Uh, by the way, Nobody drinks beer more obnoxiously and disgustingly than Stone I haven't Man. seen Ray on MLC. When John gets a beer up to I'll his check lips, it. it's always like it's the last fucking Ray's pretty low-key, though, right? Like he's he about to go away to jail. Like he's Henry Hill. I can't see Ray getting involved in this. Run. Ray's likable. You know, every sip of beer is like it's all the way back. Like he's stone cold. Like it's going to start pouring out the sides of his <laughs> mouth. He's a fucking pig. He anyway. looks like one. He does not look well-kept. At all. That's just something I've wanted to get off my chest for a long time. <laughs> that's but good. That's yeah. what Kumia looks like every time I tune into him. He's got a bottle of Bud, and he's just like, where are we? Put all those clips. It's just like, is it noon, and you're drinking Bud? 
Not Bud Light, not Bud Platinum, not Bud Crisp, not Bud Light Lime, not uh, Bud Eclamato. <laughs> you just down in full red-blooded, like, cowboy killer Marlboro fucking Budweiser Reds? Jesus, Dad. Ray and Chad hate each other. Of course, Chad hates Ray. Ray's a nice guy, but has zero talent. Why you just have to say Ray's a nice guy? Don't you know the comedy code? You never have to badmouth anybody. You just say they're a nice guy. Earl Skakel's a nice guy. Can we get Earl Skakel on the voice modulator? Yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine Moody can do anything. I don't know how it works. Get yourself a Moody, everybody. It'll pay for itself in 10 years' time. Guaranteed. You'll love the way you look. You're going to like the way you look. Um, all right. I, I'm glad Anthony has decided to lean in and go, you know what? Fuck it. Sue me, John. You're stealing money from people under the guise of curing cancer. Because I'll tell you this, if I've got to put the percentage of my vote one of multiple ways, that one's getting the largest chunk of my vote. Yeah, I'm a absolutely. big hitter and I'm unsufferable. Thank you. You're too fucking dumb insufferable. To how bad this looks. Yeah, Once right. Kumia moves yeah. south, compound is over. Yeah, up up. he's going to move to North Carolina. How's that work? So here's Anthony Kumia continuing. This is kind of the intro to smashing Stuttering John. Smash it. There. Get your lawyer, John. <laughs> Get your lawyer for another non-lawsuit. Sue me. Sue me. I won't show up in court. <laughs> I won't answer it. I won't pay you. I won't do it. I'll wow, so he really does copy Kumi. At the end of this, he's doing the same act. Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> South Carolina, you can try to chase me down there. Whatever you want to do, you blithering fool. Uh, go ahead. This lawyer must be... Do you have pictures of him blowing men... <laughs> I wouldn't take your call. I wouldn't take your call if I was a lawyer, a baker, a fucking it, candlestick it maker. Matter. Say take it. Taylor he won't spy. say it. It's John. <laughs> Fuck this idiot. I'm not picking up the phone. Anthony would make a very good lawyer. Yes, he would. <laughs> was, I think one of the best. I think one of the things they should put in all 50 states bar exams is stuttering. John calls you for legal advice. What do you do? And if you answer, don't pick up the fucking phone, you get to pass the bar. Yes. You've nailed the most important, important thing. You know what I love about these guys? They do great bits. But, you know, I, I, I'm glad there's a couple of things that I'm glad Anthony's saying here. Number one, the cancer grift. Number two, the lawyer thing. Because I've thought suspiciously for a long time because uh, Carl from Who Are These Podcasts uh, got a cease and desist from John. Okay. And then John plays copyright. Now Carl's put him against the wall. He's 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 challenged John's copyright claim on a video. So now John has like seven days to file court paperwork and take Carl to court. Got it. I think John is fucking lying when he says he's talking to his lawyer. I'm gonna do sure. a terrible impression. Whoa. See, this is why I let Carl do this shit. But I think he's fucking lying when he says he's talking to that lawyer, and I'm glad I've only got the balls to say it because Anthony said it today. Come on, I man. think he's lying when he says he's got a lawyer, uh, not got a lawyer, but he's got a lawyer on this st stuff, mm -hmm. and he's gonna start suing people and this and that. John's one of those like guys, like when you were a and kid, you would tell people, oh, "I can sue you. I'm gonna sue you," because you thought that would scare people. Right? It's a ruse. John's still dumb enough to think people are scared by that. I don't know how you get this guy on the phone. Again, I think that's a lie too. I don't Kumi think I is an alcoholic, has been. Once he moves to South Carolina, it'll only be T A C S from his home. <laughs> okay. Straight up. It's just funny to hear someone run out of like. I did uh, an episode of Legion of Skanks when it was at his when it was in his basement. You're an idiot. That's it. You're. And you and everybody had to watch him sing karaoke after. Are <laughs> in the classification. Of being a retard. <laughs> <laughs> so not only is Anthony oh. calling him retarded like the way we would colloquial, colloquially. I shouldn't use words I'm not qualified to use. 
uh, colloquially call each other retarded yeah. because we did something dumb. Anthony needs everybody to know. No, he means clinically. 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 Stuttering John is... Clinically. What an idiot. <laughs> Not maybe. He's saying you do. Anthony says stuttering John is legally retarded. That's an important Yeah, they have a lot of confidence and bravado when uh, they're on the side of Kumia and they're winning. He's a retard. That's what Anthony's saying. The, the minute Chad gets the upper hand, they hang their heads low. April can't even talk for 20 minutes. Fucking. She's idiot. biting her nails. IQ. Horrible. Has anybody caught April biting her nails? It's a thing that happens. She goes up, she'll go like. Went from least savage to most savage. She'll catch herself like on camera and she'll stop. It, it gets oh, tough when you boy. call people a bad father. Like, Ugh. I think any parent gets a little defensive when you challenge their parenting, right? Very few things. Very few things get to me. You know, you've seen me laugh off and like dismiss people online for. Yeah. Anything. Whoa. If somebody I know and respect. Whoa. He's five months ago, 5,000 views. He's laying out the roadmap for Chad. If somebody I know and respect starts talking about my kids, is that what he's about to say? This could be bad. What's about to go down here? Um, He's lying about a lawyer like Aaron did. Aaron's not much different than John. I think John has a borderline personality disorder. What's he about to say about very few things to get to me? Very few things get to me, but my kids, what? When you just low IQ, horrible from that shit. It, it gets oh, tough when boy. you call people a bad father. Like, Ugh. I think any parent gets a little defensive Listen when you up. challenge their parenting, right? Very few things. Very few things get to me. You know, you've seen me laugh off and, like, dismiss people online for yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. If somebody I know and respect, like, says, like, oh, you're a shitty father, your kids suck or something like that, I want to I want to kill them. And I've seen that, too. Right. Yep. So that that's a weird, like, that one lands. So that's a weird statement because he said somebody I know and respect. Well, Chad got you really upset by these comments. Does that mean he secretly likes and respects Chad? Sounds to me like a bit of cover and cope. A little CNC. Music factory. The reason he, he had to throw in the qualifier of if somebody I really know and respect to let the audience know to let other people know that you can't just do it to me. You talking about my kids does nothing to me. If I hate you or don't respect you, it's like, clearly that's not the case. Sometimes you got to look, look for what's there and why they're saying it. Again, like what Chad's doing to Aaron is nothing. <laughs> He's like mentioning he has kids. He's saying a fact. April's not their mother. It's like, that's not a brutal takedown. Now, Chad is high-fiving people like he just made a three-pointer, but this is nothing. He's doing nothing to you. And your reaction is to shut off a six-month feud that has brought a lot of attention to your channel. The only explanations for this... For, for abandoning what's happening because what's happening is what you've wanted and begged for. So the only two possibilities are something is, is dangerously close to coming out that you don't want coming out or there's ongoing law, you know, legal situations that you could be injured in, hurt. Or... April has put her foot down and said, it's the show. I leave the show or you keep battling this guy who keeps bringing up you cheating. And, you know, I've already got a miserable life. Your parents don't like me. Your ex, your kids, it's all strained. They want to keep me away from your kids. You know, April's got, got to have some guilt and resentment too. She's the reason 
that Aaron can't see his kids allegedly, like that there's a custody battle going on. It's like there's so much dynamics at play here, and then you throw in the fact that they're doing a morning show together, which is a bad idea for a couple anyway. It's like have we learned from no nothing from Mika and Joe? April put her foot down 100%. She hated Chad. Um, they got too scared to even go to DabbleCon. You're right. Just like John. Don't make fun of my kid. Talent sure doesn't get to him. So he respected Chad before all this. Chad's not being over the top mean. He's just snipping back, and now they can't handle it. What he's doing is nothing. It's nothing. It's 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 shit. It's not anything nuclear. It's not over the law. It's nothing that I've seen. Maybe I've missed something. You know, I, I I'm not the most plugged into this. But what? So there's some legal thing. There's something else big that might come out. Or April put her foot down, and I and I said this days ago, but I, you know, I think April put her foot down. What's the other? I mean, her whole demeanor on that show Friday, the fact that she's run out of the room when someone typed Ashley in the chat before, the fact they wouldn't go to DabbleCon because she didn't want to be around Chad. The title of that video where, again, he, he writes, April takes Chad's jokes in good stride. It's like, that's something a cuck husband would say as they put their hand on the knee of their wife to comfort her. Like, you're taking this in good stride. If she's really this renegade co-host of a morning show chick, she doesn't need to be coddled and comforted when someone on the internet says something bad about her. That's amateur hour shit. Writing a video with the description, April takes Chad's jokes in good stride, is like also one of the worst things you could do for SEO or titling a video. So it was almost just for April. Look, you took it in good stride. The, the clip's called that. It's almost like a performative art piece for April. Like April takes, I did take him in good stride. He wants to bang me. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it, you know, it, it doesn't seem in good stride. This isn't good stride. I don't know a lot about striding. I'm fat, so I tend to not walk and get Ubers. But this is not striding. And you're certainly not breaking chat on this one. So uh, that's my theory is the April stuff. And again, which case will lead to nothing but resentment, will lead to Aaron trying to figure out a way to still be involved in these wars, especially if he's teaming up with Kumia, and April power bottoming out of the show, <laughs> or their relationship falling apart completely. I'm not sure. Um... It's revolutionary. Yeah, help us fight the power. Damn, I got it because I thought this was Monday morning. <laughs> um, look at this audience in the morning, hot damn. Yeah, I should have been in bed hours ago. We're coming up on hour seven uh, soon. Woo. And no matter what John says about anything Anthony says, that one lands. I know it does. Like if it's a stranger, someone I don't know, and they. Oh, I want this to go down in the annals of history. Citizen M, who everyone respects, says NLO is right. Take that, everybody. You'll learn that uh, the more you stick around, I'm right about everything. I don't, I'm not too involved. I'm seeing this for the first time. I got fresh eyes. I'm, I'm telling you what's happening here. Keep up. He probably keeps uh, trying, he probably keeps saying to her, we're going to be big, just wait and see, so she will have to tolerate it, but they're not going that much further, that's for sure. The name of that video was like, April takes Chad's jokes in good stride. It's like, 
Name one other clip they have that's named anything like that. This one is, uh, this one's, uh, we analyze Anthony Kubian nuking stuttering John Menendez. <laughs> when, when would you, why would you make a comforting title for April? A lot of it's really transparent. And again, like him saying, like when somebody I respect talks about my kids, like I want to kill them. And it's like, yeah, when somebody you don't respect says something about your kids, you're, you just go get some gummy bears. <laughs> like what? Like that doesn't make sense, man. Listen to it. Why put the qualifier on it? Cause he, cause he's realizing he's about to give out ammo to the other side. Talk about my kids. I tap out immediately. Please don't only if I respect you. It's like, no, somebody you don't like talking mad shit about your kids would probably incense you more. My guess. It's interesting to hear the other opinions of what's going on with this drama. Boom. This is the greatest show. Everybody's getting it. <laughs> I'm an all of a dude doing a seven hour stream. This is my, this is my fifth night doing at least four to five hours on steel toe. I found him a week ago and this is ravishing check the channel please subscribe please like um but we do deep dives on nuts like this all the time this is my stuff um in bed with a giant boner <laughs> what's his name um plus one insufferable bastards they started it yeah i agree. look i agree just breaking it down but i love when they're cock it's like chad now you know chad on his on his stream Friday was funny again, light, winning, wind beneath his wings. That's fun, funny Chad. This last few months of Chad has been angry, sad, emotionally driven. It's a very mean-spirited show. This one, thanks. Please sign up. We'd love to have you over here. They say, like, who the fuck? That's just you trying to, you know, get under my skin. Get the fuck out of here. You got to do better than that. You got to tell me something that's true about myself. Like, I'm a hack. Yeah. Sue me, John. I swear, please. I, I embrace sue me, sue me, sue me, the idea of someone coming here and serving me with papers from the likes of stuttering John Melendez. <laughs> Where's my cease and desist? <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> Knock it off. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> Ladies, so that's clip one. Like Ladies that. and gentlemen, I'd just like to report Anthony Cumia is fucking back. Uh, th th this I is where, respect. you know, Pat Dixon was saying today, you know, Patrick Anthony, Melton, like, what actually. What motivation do you have after you're a legend? This is motivation for Anthony. Yeah, that is. 100%. He's coming back right now. Yeah, this is him. Uh, Pickletine says, who is on your radio Mount Rushmore? Oh, you've done this before. Uh, this really is such a great thing and such a great deep dive. Who would ever know either of these people? And it's so intricate and awesome. It's insane. Uh, Howard Rush Limbaugh. By the way, the thing I'm most famous for is my interview with Dan Ninen. If you're not familiar with Dan Ninen, check him out on our channel. D-A-N-N-A-I-N-A-N. N-A-I-N-A-N. He's the most insane comedian you've never heard of. I'm the only one who's ever pinned him down. Three-hour interview. You won't regret watching it. Check it out. Pretending to be John's lawyer. Ew. Wasn't John also that guy that got caught messaging himself on Twitter? Or was that a different one? Remember when he'd reply to him? No, my show's pretty mean-spirited. said that was fake. I don't know if that was real or not, but I don't know. That seems like... Obvious to me. I agree with Yeti Machete in a way. He says uh, most people are bad parents. Like in the fact that we all make mistakes. Yeah, we definitely yeah. all. Yeah, they thought Chad would be like John and wouldn't fight back. But now they're like, they. I guarantee you there's been meetings this weekend about what do we do Monday? Oh, boy. Coming from Anthony. Oof. Uh, it's shitty imposter syndrome says, I know nothing about these people you're making fun of, nor do I care. But I'm still watching. Great job. Wow, that actually is a weird compliment. I appreciate it. Uh, people are throwing other names uh, at the the radio Mount Rushmore. Art Bell. Art Bell would miss the cut by a little. Uh, I miss no man cow, of course. Man Art Bell was the old nutty. Used to uh, talk Phil to people Hendry, on coast to coast. Phil Hendry's great. 
Uh, Bubba the Love Sponge, no. George Norman, no. <laughs> if you've never listened to Phil Hendry, you don't know talented, man. Whether you like his show, Cornball, whatever, what a talented dude. Regardless, I mean, absolutely, there's no question. Uh, if you want to go Paul Harvey, Casey Kasem, that's not a Yeah, the Dan Ninen interview will blow your tits. If you've never gotten into Ninen, ooh. Oki's Weird Story has a great short interview with some of the clips from my interview in there. A short documentary, but I have a three-hour dive. It's insane. Oh, God. If you're not an Opie and Anthony fan, you really missed it with Scorch. I think about Scorch on a regular fucking basis. I think about weird news. It's Las Vegas. Disgusting. It's gross. We are right, in Las Vegas. To, so that's the first clip. Anthony Cumia begs Stuttering John to file a lawsuit against him. Again, Dabblers Anonymous. Thank you to the person uh, Pickwick Pub on Reddit. On Dabblers Anonymous for uh, for a lot of what I've done for the past couple of years is just cover the Las oh, Vegas is, comedy it scene. Great to have them. So, Ooh, it is clips. bananas. And again, I'm going to save the most <laughs> harmful one for last. Okay. I'm and ready. then after these, we'll play Stuttering John's response to Anthony. Here's Anthony Cumia talking about Stuttering John's time on Howard the Howard Stern Show and Leno. These are the two things that John hangs his hat on. Yep. It's the only reason he has an audience. The only reason anybody knows who he is. Howard Stern and Jay Leno. Just imagine wagging your finger at people while you use okay. clip art boots for your logo. It's like, what's going on? Perfectly. Here's, uh, here's uh, Anthony Cumia on stuttering John's career. Because you're an asshole. You've been an asshole your whole life. <laughs> and of course, you you do anything to get more money. You blew through every penny you made. Uh, you didn't make much on Howard Stern. We know you were making something in the realm of between thirty and thirty-five thousand a year. Oof. For, ah. And you stayed there forever. Ouch. Could you imagine how worthless you have to be, and how little Howard Stern has to think of your contribution to his show? That a guy who has a show that generates tens of millions of dollars a year for K-Rock alone, probably at his peak, hundreds of this millions This dude's of got dollars. the on-air presence of a potato chip. <laughs> Could you imagine how little... Without ridges? Un not a kettle not a kettle cooked a chip either. Everybody else is probably... Well, like you ever left a packet of Ruffles out in the rain? Probably making well into the six figures. Howard was probably making in the millions. Okay. But Baba Boo... Does anybody... Who plays Car the Cardiff, Corn Diff guy? Does anybody know? Are they the same guy? And that corn guy is pretty. I was cracking up. And when I like John that. John comes to Howard and says, Leno's offering me a shitload of money. I'm going to take it. And Howard goes, okay. Oh, who are you again? Right. Do you know? <laughs> I don't think about you. Do you know how fucking bad or how replaceable Howard has to feel you are? Oh, yeah. If Sal and Richard, after Artie left, said, Howard, I got an offer from this guy. Howard would go, we're going to sit down with the guys from Sirius, Richard and Sal, and we're going to keep you guys. You're too important to this show. Corn is not card. All right, got it, got it, got it. Dabbler's Unanimous was allegedly a rabbi con man. He deleted all of his social media accounts overnight after being exposed. Look, guys, I'm so new to this. I don't know. Like, I understand there was a convention called DabbleCon. I don't know what the name comes from. What? Who are the Dabblers? What's DabbleCon? I thought it was like the WATP guys podcast. DabbleCon? I'm probably short in this number. Sorry, I am dumb about all this stuff. Quarter of a million a year. Oh, I guess, yeah. You leave. Maybe we'll come tomorrow, do another seven hours watching it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here, by the uh, way. It's fun. Like, why did they go after him? Anthony's going to so un... nail it in this corner. I've only okay. pissed once. You finally left, but you stayed there making shit money for what? Fame was more important than that? The, being able to go out and someone go, hey, it's Stuttering John. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Fame was more important than that, than, than, than your family? <gasps> than being there for your fucking family? Who's Sal and Richard? 35000 a year. John, maybe you should, you know, maybe move on. Get something. Get another job. Get the, yeah, I'm famous. I'm stuttering John Melinda. So he loses his fucking family. And then and then uh, uh, Jay Leno decided to fuck with Howard by stealing one of his guys. That's, That's really what it was. Okay. If you think for a second, Jay fucking Leno. <laughs> one piss, looked, six ice cream cannolis. Damn straight. I need this guy. I take a lot of cookie breaks. The Tonight Show can't succeed 
without stuttering John as the announcer. Here's how you know it was a it was an I'm fucking with Howard <laughs> thing, and and Jay Len or, uh, and stuttering John was a pawn in the whole deal. He took a guy with a stutter and made him his announcer on the Tonight Show. That's kind of what I was wondering. How do you get an announcer out of yeah. that? Because you Jay, because Jay didn't give a fuck. Okay. Because Jay, writers on Howard's turn and an on-air Jay personality, Steel Toe just talked about them, right? Being and he is a, from all accounts a great guy, but he's uh, great the Citizen M guy is an almanac of information. Dabble is just a reference to a statement by Stuttering John. The Dabblers are a community of content creators based around mocking Stuttering John. Got it. Like the way he treated Letterman during the Carson thing, the whole deal. That's pretty fucked up. I love that he's like. Uh, and Jay behind He's like, you know, some things just aren't funny. Mentioning someone has kids or an ex-wife, tasteless and across the line. If you want to see me, I'll be at a conference where I get together with a bunch of other internet bullies and their fans who are also, you know, little minion versions of the bullies where we attack an old mentally ill man with a trans child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a conference. Tickets are available. We all rally and get together and just, you know, really, really get together and fundamentally bond over the complete demolition of an old man from a radio show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Links in the bio. Fucking hell. What weird lines this guy has. It's fucking insane. Hey, you know what? I'm uh, fucking tired of this Howard Stern guy. So uh, take his uh, stuttering John. Just boop. Take one of his, take one yeah. of the, the pieces. I don't sleep. I'm one of those vamps. I might, uh, we might just go all morning until the uh, Kumia's Cox 2 comes on. I, I burn more money. Will somebody screen cap that for me before gonna, they blow it down? If somebody will record Kumi's Cucks for me and get it to me today, again, Patrick at NobodyLikesOnions.com, Chad at NobodyLikesOnions.com, I'll come back on tomorrow night and we'll watch it for seven hours and break it down. I don't give a shit. pretended he didn't care about it, but there are clips of stuttering John on Howard where Howard is berating him for leaving. Okay. So it did hurt Howard in some way, shape, or form. It was a goof for two minutes. And the people that... DabbleCon had great Coors Light specials. It was fucking Jay Leno. It's true. And all of the people that worked over there. Yeah, that was funny. That, now what do we do? We can get saddled with this fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there are... Uh, I don't know how to make clips. You guys make clips. I'm, I'm not a clipper. Says, um, <laughs> having a conversation on oh. air on The Tonight Show with John was very awkward it was if you ever go back and watch clips of uh stuttering john as the announcer on the tonight show it didn't last very long you might not find any clips of it but like jay would make a joke and it was a joke where he was kind of throwing it to john to like yes and yep and you'd see stuttering john back there going oh <laughs> yeah yeah that and was it. Like, there went no ball. Uh, yeah, and Jay's like, okay, all right, well, that's that's wonderful. And this <laughs> motherfucker was so bad at being the announcer, but Jay just wanted to fuck Howard Stern that he dropped Stuttering John into the writer's room like a, like an old toys the kids don't play with anymore and forgot about him until his contract ran out. Got it. It's like shoving him in the closet and forgetting about him. Just I mean, And kept him on the payroll just to spite Howard Stern. It was all a spite move. Oh, but John hangs his hat on this, though? Oh, yeah. Hangs his hat on that shit. Come on, man. He still can't help but talk That's... about the Howard Stern day. That's Glory delusional. days. Do, 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 do. Delusional. It's terrible. It was just, it, there was no chemistry there. It was terrible. So a lot of times I'd throw it to Kevin Eubanks and <laughs> we would bounce <coughs> off each other. And there was really Gosh, nothing left started to vaping again. <laughs> so they relegated him to a writer. Because he loves plugging that, too. I was uh, the announcer and then a writer for The Tonight Show. Over under in one week, how many jokes do you think Jay used in his monologue that were I, stuttering John jokes? I was just going to say, I bet you he didn't use any. No. Not any. None. Great gig for John. 
Yeah, you could just get to sit there and get paid for nothing. God paid a fuckload of money more than any... Probably. You know, when I first started watching this, I kind of respected April. I said she's not a whole. And um, I don't know. Maybe it was the first few clips I watched. She really added a lot to the conversation. It was interactive. This is like, but this is early, so maybe it's not fair. I don't know. He stole from it. A scalp. Now that I watched the Friday one, it's just like, uh, just like useful meat. I feel like no matter how much I brush my teeth, I feel like Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura are taking that Jay had on his mantle. Silkwood shower. Your announcer as a joke. Howard uh, uh, and Jay. Thank you, Citizen M. That'd be awesome. The best way to do it was to cough up some money, some of the corporate money, and steal you away from Howard to piss Howard off. And then when they realized you were so fucking bad, so fucking bad at the announcing job, and doing street interviews without Howard and uh, and Jackie and Fred writing shit. That's just it. So they tried to put Stuttering John back on as the man on the street bit yep. that Howard had him doing. Jesus. And they realized, oh, shit. It really was just Howard Stern, Billy West, Jackie Martling, Fred Norris writing for this fucking ape. Right. It's no good without them. John was proven to be utterly talentless. And if you utterly talentless a show now, he's still utterly talentless. He's fucking garbage. He's clown shoes. So how does he keep going then? The you know kindness I mean? of strangers. I don't think he is. He's he's substitute teaching. He's been driving. This is Uber. pretty brutal. That's right. Yeah. I he's, forget the teacher thing. He's got alimony, child support. I mean, he's been. Holy shit. This is hilarious. What this if fine- Kumia should offer April her own show on compound that will destroy Aaron? Holy fuck. So hold on, though. I thought Aaron got his own. I thought it, Steel Toe Morning Show is moving to Compound. No? I thought they signed a deal or some shit. What was this special? And is Look, is this... Are they going to Compound? But I thought about this. You know, the way all these guys think about April, it's like, Jesus. You know, you're... you. You were afraid of uh, Aaron, or uh, sorry, afraid of uh, Chad banging April. It's like, don't let Ape go down the wrong hallway in Kumia's mansion, you know? He's been known to have women in his closet. (laughs) Uh, Do these streams get saved to YouTube when they end? Yeah, it'll go private for a while. Um, and then it'll be back up in a day or so. Uh, after this is done, I have one to publish. So if you're just jonesing for more, I've got another five, th- three, five hour one to publish immediately when I end this show. So that'll be up. And that that's the one watching Chad's victory stream from Friday. And it's a doozy. Um... He sold the mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to that house. It's crazy. It wasn't a mansion. Um, no, they are just airing specials. What's the special? Because I saw a screen cap of it today that Compound Media tweeted. It was just like a screen cap of Steel Toe's show. What's special? It was just a one-off. Steel Toe will do more episodes that appear on Compound. No, it was just a one-time special with hopes of a weekly show. Does anybody have this one? Again, Patrick and nobody likes com. Shh, I don't. Whatever you have, you know, send it on over. I'd love to give it a whiff. <laughs> you hear all that. Yeah, for you. They were like, what do we do? So they threw him in as a writer. He sat in a room with a bunch of other people to write shit for The Tonight Show, and they would just, you know, ignore him. I'm not going to take any of his bits. Oh, yeah, okay, John. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, great, great. And they would do other things. Who knows now that Steel uh, Toe's backing down on Chad. When Jay found out that John didn't write any of the questions, he was pissed. But I yeah, I thought that they had signed him or some shit. This will definitely. Uh, we'll see. Monday's gonna be good, man. Just pick one. That's kind of what it seems. I'm a I'm a Tojo man. I'm a fan. I don't think Jackie was there anymore. 
Uh, I can't afford Artie. You're I can't a phony. afford Robin. Hey, I can't afford Baba Booey. This guy's so, uh, a great big phony. Who can I take? You're a big uh, fat Casey phony. Casey has a drug problem. Uh, stuttering. Hey, job. you're low. a great big yeah. phony. You know a, that? You're a big a move fat to, phony. To stick it to Howard. You're a phony. And just hey, using John this as guy's the a great oh, big phony. The fucking buffoon that he is. Put him on camera. He's goofy. People know him from Howard. Fuck it. And then in a short time. Um, it's not a one-off. I will send you that as well. I've already been confirmed. They're doing more. Woo! Opportunity they got to uh, get rid of him. They did. But he used- Toe is not going to be able to clip this eight-hour epic. Yeah, I make the most unclippable shows on the net, baby. So Keep up. Anthony is going in hard on Stuttering John here. And again, all of this from. The, the the whole thing is John's doing to, 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 cancer thing, and it seems remarkably uh, You know shady. what it is, man. Um, yes, absolutely. And Anthony was the only one out of all of us, and, and the people in the Dabblers were talking, you know, uh, Muttering Jay was talking about it being uh, Carl, Anthony, and who's generous enough to include me in that conversation, which I still thank you. I don't know if I deserve it, but it was Anthony who, out of all three of us, had the fucking balls to go, no, 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 allegedly. No, I think, no, my opinion. John is stealing money from people under the guise of raising money for cancer because he- Oh, Aaron, thanks, man. He says, holy shit, this is uh, half my life tuning into NLO. Balls to go, this is the greatest show. Off the handle, went after Anthony, and now this is the treatment he's getting. What a fall from grace for stuttering John. Like you have the glory days of being with the Howard Stern show. Yeah. And then you're the butt of a joke to Jay Leno. You know, just a really expensive joke. And now you're a substitute teacher. Yeah. And you got to know that like nobody really knows who he is. You got to know. Oh, by the way, I'm that guy. I'm right. from, you know, the late show. Uh, you know, Citizen M says, I believe stuttering the Minnesota John comes up Leno for eight months. That could be true. I always thought he was the announcer for eight months, but he was he had a multi year contract and they just stored him, t- put him in a closet. So a writer, uh, you could be right, though. Snapper said he wasn't paid because he was a call screener and then went out and read scripted questions from Fred and Jackie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Trident says off topic. I've never seen this many people on the evening stream. Oh, well, that's very cool. Welcome. Ooh. to the- Citizen M is a spy. They got mod over there in Chad's ear confirmed. I don't know what any of that means. I don't uh, know all that stuff. Look, uh, Citizen M seems like a nice man. If he sends me the links, I don't really care, you know. Also, what, like, spy? What are you spying on? This is on YouTube, dog. It's public. Please don't spy. Somebody says, uh, Galactic Wrestling Federation says, April really doesn't know anything. Well. So both Chad and Aaron say that the other one started it. Who actually started it? Aaron and April are biased. When anyone criticizes their friends... Specifically, the compound media crew, they autistically take their side every time, no matter the circumstance. Yeah, I believe it. This is a guy with a growing show. They do a fun show. Don't Google St. Cloud Morning Host exits after misogynistic rampage. Don't Google Minnesota DJ quits after on-air rant. Just don't Google... Don't look up a book about my ex-wife selling a thing. Like, I have so many exes selling so many trinkets and baubles. Good luck. <laughs> Get one on your show. I First of all, I only date psychopaths. So, good luck. Get one on your show and see how it comes across. Me against them. I'll make it look like you're all sitting there brushing your teeth with your finger. You're nuts. Go against me. I dare you. Drunk, high, however you want to put me up on the stand. I'll make you all look silly spinning circles. Steel Toe tried to hang. Steel Toe. It's early. Steel Toe tried to low-hanging fruit Chad. 
and got bitch slapped back by a mud shark. I believe that shit. Confirmed kills. Really hope Anthony wasn't stupid enough to offer them any money to do something. Well, I guarantee you. Uh, Surprise, motherfucker. They 100% got some money. <laughs> um, trinket sales are way up. Hanging Chad. I really hope Anthony. Um, what is that? Really hope Anthony wasn't stupid enough to pay the money. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that happened. $40? No way. Steel Cho started this Chad Zumok uh, fought back, and now they're backing down with excuses. Yeah, and this is the worst part. Chad Zumok blocks me on Twitter. It blocks Nobody Likes Onions on Twitter. Blocks P-Melt on Twitter. I find it all very hurtful and mean. Um, all right. I got to end the video for a couple of reasons. Number one, at a six-hour video... Uh, I can't edit it on YouTube anymore. It's a dumb limitation they have. And I have to cut out that Chad uh, song so I can monetize this video. It's all about it. I clicks. Thank you for liking the video. Give it a thumbs up and stuff. I, this video will be public. I got another one to publish. So if you're not ready for bed, don't worry about it. Refresh the channel and you'll see the new vid uh, within a few minutes. Like, subscribe, hit the th hit the fucking. If Citizen M comes through, like he says he's gonna come through, then we will have another show on a Sunday night. It'll be night six of me doing this for over four, five, six. You know, tonight seven almost hours. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not a spy. I'm loyal to Aaron and April. I don't have any of their secrets, but I, if I did, I wouldn't tell anyone anyway. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Look, I haven't formed a complete. I'm done talking about this tonight, you goddamn bitches. I don't like.